guys, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and I'm just going to start off with where my last video left off. It it just ended abruptly, and I actually videoed the last of it and then tried to hook them together, and I thought I did it, but it wouldn't download, so I just scrapped that and said we'll just start this video with finishing up the last one. I was showing you guys the 1974 Golden Fragrance Calendar. Um, and I'll just kind of flip through some of the pages. They're really cute. And it was like a scratch and sniff. So if you scratch the chili, it's supposed to smell like chili. It didn't. But um, I did scratch really harder on this little chocolate um, heart here. And it actually did kind of a little smell like chocolate. So to be from 1974, it still kind of smells a little chocolatey. But that's the February page. I'm just going to flip, flip a few pages. Um, each page just, each month just corresponds with what's going on in that month. Um, that one was Cinnamon Toast. April was Easter Lily, and that one also did kind of, you could faintly smell like an Easter Lily. May was uh, Peanuts. Just really pretty graphics, really nice, bright, and bold. Um, June was, I didn't, I couldn't smell that one. It looks like a cherry soda or something. Um, but yeah, this was just really pretty. Um, like I said, this was made, this was a golden book um, thing, uh, and I think it, did I say it was Western Publishing? I think so. 1974 Golden Fragrance Calendar, Western Publishing, yeah. Um, so anyway, that was just pretty much that book. It was really cool. I don't know if they make, like, if they made one for every year, but I'd... I'm curious to Google that and find out. I don't see why they would not, would not have, but that was just a cute find. And the last thing that we got with that $8 last estate sale that, I, that was in my last video, it was this really cool enamelware tray. Um, it's got the orange poppies with the brown. It was really, really dirty when I found it. Um, but I just came home and washed it, and it really didn't have very many flaws. Just one little kind of a scratch right there. But it is by Sankoware. It's pretty large, too. Chopin's. Senko Wear Japan. I just loved it. I looked it up. They they did make, um, if you remember one of my recent videos where I got some strawberry pots and pans, they made this pattern in Senko Wear pots and pans as well. And they all this sells pretty well, but I just thought that was so pretty. That'd be so pretty for fall. I'm going to list it, but um, if I don't sell it, I'm, I don't care. I kind of hope I don't sell it because I just thought it was really pretty. And that'd be pretty just to hang up somewhere in the kitchen in, in the fall. So we'll move that. And then this video, I've got a garage sale haul for you. And the first one that we went to, this was Saturday the 7th, I think. September 7th. Um, we, just, we were supposed to go camping, but we ended up not going. And we were lucky that we didn't because the path we would have taken had some really bad weather and really bad hail and a mudslide and all this kind of stuff. So something told us not to go th that weekend and we didn't and we're kind of lucky that we didn't. So we ended up doing a couple yard sales. The first one that we went to was just fabulous. It was this young boy, maybe like 16 and then an older woman. And I don't know whose stuff they were selling, but there, he had, he had the cutest little signs, um, around all the stuff and it was like 25 cents and then two items for 25 cents it was just great prices um i didn't have a lot of stuff but i got some good stuff and i paid uh i think i, I paid like two dollars which actually was more than what it actually totaled up to i just said no i have to pay you at least two dollars so let me show you what i got from him he was so sweet i complimented his signs and he was just like so he it was he was genuinely happy that I liked his signs, but he was precious. The first thing I got, and it came with this little stand, like the one I just moved, was this gorgeous uh, Made in Japan plate. It has peaches and some grapes, and I'm not sure what these are, but it is gorgeous. It's got the handle. It's a gold around the rim. There's no chips or cracks. It's got the mother of pearl sort of um, iridescent here. I just loved it. I'm a Georgia girl. I was born in Georgia, and Nobody makes better peaches in Georgia. And I just thought this was just so pretty. I, I loved it. And it, like I said, it came with the stand. It was not priced. It does say Japan on the bottom and on the back. And that's all I know about it. Um, so I wasn't really sure how much it cost. But when I saw the prices of everything else, I grabbed it anyway. 
I went ahead and grabbed it, but I just adore that. That is so pretty. Uh, it's just fabulous. Um, so one thing I got that was priced was this, all his videos and DVDs were 25 cents. This is a Family Guy Volume 4. It has four or three DVDs, and it's in really fairly decent shape. It was a quarter. And I've sold a lot of Family Guy packs and seasons, etc., on eBay, and I always seem to sell them. So for a quarter, I was for sure getting that. I got this cute little, um, I guess it's a little pillbox. I don't think it was marked. It was just marked a quarter. So I grabbed that. It's a little Christmas one with some holly berries and some candy canes. Um, but I just thought that was would be cute just to stick somewhere and, and for 25 cents. That was a great deal. I also got, he did have this gorgeous vase. It's, it's the prettiest color blue, which is my favorite color. It's kind of a teal blue, but all blues are my favorite. And it has, it's just covered in butterflies, and butterflies are very um, special to me. It was marked a dollar. It does have one little, like, flaw right there on the rim. But if you put a little blue paint there and turn it around, you will never see it. I just thought it was so, so pretty. And it was only a dollar when I looked on the bottom. Apparently they got it for $10 from ARC, but it came from Pier 1. So I don't know what it cost at Pier 1. I don't know if that has the price on it or not, but anyway, um, it was a dollar. I loved it, and I grabbed it. And then um, the other things that I got from him were right here. He had, there was a box of linens and aprons, and they were marked two for a quarter. Two for a quarter. <laughs> um, so anyway, I got this one. It's a cross-stitch piece, and it says Granny's Goodies, and it's really clean and in good shape. I kind of wonder if this was their grandmother's stuff. I'm not sure. They didn't really say, but it's really pretty. It just has Granny's Goodies and Granny's Goodies here. Every other corner is just the, the little hearts and florals, but it's really clean. It was just so sweet, and for $12 or 12 cents, 12 and a half cents, I had to get it. Then there was this really pretty cruel that someone had done. Really pretty pinks and blues. Um, it's really clean as well. It has something here. I guess this is like a model or a number. I'm not sure what this says. But that would be really pretty framed or I might list it. I don't know. I just thought that was really pretty for 12 and a half cents. And then they had some aprons. This one I got just because I'll actually probably use it. I've been using aprons lately because I'm just just messy in the kitchen but this one had two pockets these are all just the half apron it's a longer one and it's got some some uh, the strings that one wasn't all that special but I just got it to use because it was 12 cents this one was really cute it's an older vintage one it has a pocket here it has the um straps and it has these cute little green little I guess dancing ladies I don't know but they're in fabulous fabulous shape. Um, let me look at this fold. I don't know. It doesn't look handmade. It looks stitched on a machine, but it's still really pretty. But let me show you my favorite one. Like I said, it's blue. It's got some little, looks like maybe roses. But look how cute is this one. Um, and it's a little longer too. I kind of like the longer ones. But it's got some kitty cats. It's also in really good shape. Has a pocket. And how cute is that for twelve cents? I was I was so happy to find these. This one I probably will put in my, one of my campers. I know I always say that, but I probably will and hang it in there or use it in there. The green one I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'll do with that one. This one I'll probably just use at home in my own kitchen. But yeah, all of that came out to like. A dollar plus like 50, 60 something cents, um, another another quarter, and then two more quarters. Um, and what he did was when I grabbed everything and was grabbing stuff, he said, do you need a box? And I said, no, not really. I'm good. And like I said, this was the price. So then, he, then later I had picked up a few more things and I said, you know what? I think I do need a box. He handed me a box and he said, well... You can we we were also doing this. It, it, everything you can fit into this box, and this box was like a maybe a little ten by ten box. It's just a dollar. 
And so he was only going to charge me a dollar for everything. And I said, you know what? <laughs> that is very sweet. But let me, I gave him $3 because I said, I, I cannot give you just $1 for all this stuff. So I, I gave him $3 and he was so sweet. Just the cutest young kid ever. Um, so that was one yard sale. And then, um, second yard sale I went to, I got, I finally found my big frame. I've been looking for a large frame for a project that I want, that I want to do forever. Um, I got this one for one dollar. Well, my husband measured it and said it was big enough, but I'm looking at it now. I'm kind of wondering, is it really big enough for what I want it for? I told him my measurements, but I don't remember. But, um, but then he got home and started looking at it, and it's a really, really gorgeous picture. Um, it says something. 170 out of 90, 900 mill pond reflections. And then there's a name over here. But that's a really pretty picture. I'm not sure if I should... I don't know, because what I want to do with it was is paint the frame and then take it, put something in, else in it. And I'm not sure if I should do that with that one. So I'm going to make sure it's the right size and then decide. But anyway, that was a nice frame for a dollar. I got that from a girl, and I also spent 50 more cents at her sale and got this DVD. Um, my sister's keeper, because somebody told me I should watch this movie. I've never seen it. Um... And we had rented a couple movies the night before, and they have gone up to like almost two dollars a movie. So I grabbed that for fifty cents to watch it. And then another sale that we went to, it was so sweet. Um, I bought this pottery piece, and I got a pair of jeans for a dollar. Hopefully they'll fit. I didn't. Of course you don't try them on, but they're in really good shape. And for a dollar, I would give, thought I'd give them a shot. My husband got this um, stadium seat for $2, and it's a fairly nice one, and it has no metal, and we have a um, place here called, um, oh, we just went to see Hootie and the Blowfish at a concert, uh, Fiddler's Green in Denver, and it's where you, it's you, it's on the lawn, Fiddler's Green on the lawn or whatever, and you can't, we didn't know until we got there that you cannot take any metal in it, in there, so we... You know, most people take their metal chairs. We had to sit on the grass without a blanket because we took metal chairs and didn't realize we had to. Ha we couldn't have metal chairs. So this has absolutely no metal in it, and it has a little zipper pocket. So that'll be for the next time we go. We just need to find one more. But for two bucks, that was a great deal. But this was sitting on the girls' table as I walked up, and it was sitting... Um, well, she had this pottery piece and a few other pieces, and I looked in it, and it said 50 cents, and I love this kind of pottery. Um, it takes talent to make this kind of pottery. This is what you do on the wheel, and I turned it over, and it said Angela, <laughs> and that is actually my name. <laughs> I go by Angie most of the time, but my given name is Angela, and I saw it, and I was like, oh my God, okay, I have to buy that, so when I was checking out... Um, I was asking her about something else. I thought I got something else there, but I guess it was just these two pieces. Or the jeans. But anyway, I said um, I said something about it, and she said she made it. And there was a few other pieces, and I said, oh, my God, why? it's so pretty. Why are you selling it for 50 cents? And, and she said, well, I just, have, I just have too much stuff. And I, and I told her my name was Angela, and she was, it was so sweet. She was so happy that I loved it so much, and I was going to treasure it. Uh, because her name was Angela, too. That's why it says Angela on the bottom. But that was a really sweet story. So we got that, and I'll just use it as a plant, to put a plant in, or just as a, just a trinket bowl or something. I have a few other ones that are very similar, and I always kind of tend to go toward the blue and the blue and teal ones and the taupe ones. And I just thought it was really pretty. Um, and then I went to another yard sale after that one. It was so sweet. I bought one item, and it was another little story. Um, when we walked up, the lady said, this is our last day, just make an offer to the lady over there in the black shirt, and I was looking around, I didn't really think I saw anything I wanted, but this is a very, very nice enamelware bowl. I don't see really, besides those few little marks right there, I don't see any damage to it. I love the blue edge. I've never really seen one with like a 
with like a decal on it, but it had really pretty flowers. These flowers remind me of some bowls that my grandmother had when I was growing up. Um, but it was marked a dollar, and I thought, it is so pretty. I'm not going to go say, well, you take 50 cents. I'm just going to go pay her a dollar. But when I walked up to the lady, <laughs> she was so cute. She was probably like 75 or something, and she said, as he was walking up to her, she said, oh my gosh, this is the sweetest story about that bowl. And I said, what? And she said, she bought it with a few other pieces, like 30 or something or 40 years ago to, to put in, to take in her camper because they had this camper and they went camping. And I just started smiling. I said, well, that is so sweet because I'm buying this to put in my camper. And so we started talking about campers and she was, it was another sweet story where she was just so excited that I was going to keep this and treasure this bowl. So I ended up having to show her my camera or my camper on my phone and it was just so sweet. I actually stayed and talked to her for like 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, I just loved it. It's so pretty. And that was just really sweet. I love stories like that. I love it when... That's the reason... The opposite of that, I guess, is the reason that I started doing eBay because I, when I first shopped on eBay, I was looking for stuff that meant something to me. That meant, the, you know, from my past or gifts for people that, that it, it just that, that meant something. And then when I started selling, I love it when I can find something that someone really loves and has really been looking for. Something that means something to them. Mostly it's almost always, you know, vintage stuff. And I've had so many customers that have sent me the sweetest um, emails back about how, oh my God, I'm so happy I found this, blah, blah, blah. I just love those stories. So when I come across that at a yard sale, too, it's just really sweet. Um, but my favorite item I found, I'll show you last. But first, I, I didn't show this glass in one of my last videos. This was a Goodwill find for half price, so 50 cents. It is a Libby glass, and it has the flag on it. I don't know how it got. It somehow it got left in my car. Um... And luckily, I found it before it got broke, but it's in fabulous shape, and it's so cute. And there is a little L down there. You can't see it because of that sign, that sticker, but, um, yeah, I wish I had found more, but I only found that one. All right, and then the last, let me pause a second. Okay, and the last um, estate sale that we went to, this actually was an estate sale we just found on our way home after doing all the yard sales. Um, I got this cute package of pipe cleaners, like really old pipe cleaners. And this is such a crazy story. Um, it just says deals pipe cleaners for cooler, cleaner smoke. And I even read that and I got this. She gave me this for 10 cents because I bought this tray right here. But, um, I got this on Saturday night and then... Sat or Saturday morning and Saturday night my husband comes in and he goes do you have something to clean an old pipe with he had this old pipe that's um he got out of a locker like a long time ago and it's marked something Italy and he googled it and looked it up and it he says he can sell it for like $99 and they were consistently going from for like 89 to like 120 or something for used ones but he wanted to clean it and he said, do you have anything to clean it with? Uh, um, and I have uh, what we call <laughs> pipe cleaners or Chanel stems that you get at like Hobby Lobby that you craft with. You know, the red one, the green, the purple, the pink. And I went and got some of those. And then I remembered I had these. Mm -hmm. And I grew up with my grandfather smoking a pipe. But I felt so, like, not dumb, but I felt so, like, weird because when I started Googling how to clean a pipe, and this guy was talking about pipe cleaners and whatever. And I got to thinking, I never really thought that pipe cleaners, which I've always used crafting ones, actually were for actually were for cleaning pipes. And so I'm watching the video and he's this guy's talking about take your pipe cleaner and put it in here and do this and do this and all this stuff. I mean, it's like on Facebook, have you have you ever seen when people say I was zero I was today years old when I found out this? That's what I felt like. I was today years old when I found out pipe cleaners actually were for cleaning pipes. And it was just a weird coincidence that he comes to me the night after I got these at an estate sale and wanted to know how to clean a pipe. So I would not let him have one of these. 
because my little wreaths that I recently thrifted and ruined, I'm going to use some of these to kind of fix them. Um, so I got him my crafting ones that were like pink and green and red and yellow, but he cleaned the pipe and I guess it went okay. But that's just another little weird story I thought I would show. Does, any, did any, does anybody know that? Did you know that pipe cleaners actually originally were made to actually clean pipes? I swear I did not know that. But my favorite find of the day was this really cool, everything was half priced at this sale because it was the last day, but this is a mushroom, I, it's probably 70s um, uh, chip and dip set, it's not marked, I looked on the bottom, those are stents, uh, stilt marks from a kiln, so this was made by someone in, a ceram in ceramics, either in their home or in a ceramic shop, and um, when you would buy it, this is this was separate from this, but when you glaze it, you glaze it on so it's like permanently attached. But it is in perfect shape. It does have a lot of crazing, like that you can see, but um, most items this, this age do, and you can't feel it, you, you can just see it. But I think that adds age and character to it. But I absolutely loved this piece. It was marked $8, I got it for four, because it was half price, and I spent $4.10 because she only charged me a dime for these pipe cleaners and then tax. Um, 